Good morning. Welcome back to D Space for Space U. Today is January 1st, 2022. And I just want to speak some words of encouragement to people that are out there suffering from low self-esteem and feeling like you know you're alone and people really don't want to be bothered with you you may have bad things going about you out there like rumors being spread or had been spread about you or what have you that are not true Uh, or maybe even possibly could be true and you just feel like um, it's over for you You know what? It is not over for you. Keep your head up. God said he will never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because this morning, no, last night I went to bed with so many negative thoughts. And so many negative feelings about other people. So many negative feelings about myself. But you know what? I'm going to keep my head up. Because God will never leave me nor forsake me. And I believe that. And he has never. And I believe that he will never. And he will not leave you nor forsake you. If you have surrendered your heart unto him. And you love him. And that's my motto for today. That's that's my message for today. Because you know what? I went to bed like that. And I woke up this morning feeling just like that. And I'm like looking at myself. I'm looking at the world. And I'm like, what what really matters? Well, what really matters is what Jesus Christ feels about you. Now, he will put it on your heart. Like I said, eating is one of my things. You know, I don't really go anywhere. I really don't do much. You know, I like to go shop. And that's my main thing that I like to do. But other than that, I'm at home watching TV or I'm at work. So, that's, you know, that's it. Not I don't have a significant other in my life. And that's cool because these days, all they want you know to really have a relationship with somebody these days uh they want you to compromise your goods and give in and then half of the time or more than half of the time you compromise and you give in and you start having sex with these people and they get what they want and but that's all they want they don't want to marry you they don't really love you Well, I don't know about you, but I'm talking about as far as me. And all the men that I have ever really loved, that I've ever been in a serious relationship with. And I'm not talking about those ones that, you know, I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about the ones that I was in a real relationship with. They have all married somebody else. So, I'm going to get back to what I was saying. I went to bed feeling so negative about myself and feeling so negative and I'm trying not to cry I ain't getting ready to cry bump that Satan you ain't gonna get the glory I'm not getting ready to cry because I know that I'm beautiful because God knew what he was doing when he made me he knew what he was doing just like he knew what he was doing when he made you um but when I woke up this morning I just started scrolling, and I should have been reading the Bible. That's what I should have done. But instead, I decided to uh, pick up uh, my cell phone and just was scrolling for words of encouragement. And I didn't even have to scroll long because one of the videos, uh, it wasn't a video. It was like a just like a picture of some words. And the words said, God will never leave you nor forsake you and it said you know welcome to 2022 and i thought to myself thank you jesus hallelujah because that's what i needed that's exactly what i needed i needed to hear that god is with me god loves me god wants me god wants to be bothered with me i needed to hear that 
And I hope that if there's anybody out there that woke up like I did or that's going to bed tonight like I did last night to wake up the way I did this morning, remember God will never leave you nor forsake you and he loves you. And if these people don't want to be bothered with you, then learn how to be grateful about it because they're not for the right thing. They're not for the right thing because if they were, they would show you love, kindness, gentleness, respect. And they would show you how to appreciate <laughs> being appreciated. <laughs> and so I'm here. Wow, I done pulled up at this at this mall. And it is closed. <laughs> I thought New Year's Day, any other, this is crazy, any other New Year's Day, <laughs> everything is open on New Year's Day. Any other New Year's Day, like all the stores, they give you all these discounts, you know what I'm saying, the thrift stores and all that. So I don't know, I just feel like I'm under attack. But I, again, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to get on with my day and I'm going to be thankful. And thank you, Jesus, for waking me up today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are loved regardless of whether somebody makes you feel that way or not. God loves you. And if you're feeling lonely this morning, don't feel lonely. Because God has separated you for a divine purpose. He wants to keep you away from those that will do you harm, hurt, and danger. He wants you set apart so that you can be free to read his word, free to pray to him, free 